Hey, the Bucks is Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thanking you uh, for being able to, you know, do what you can do towards your future. I know a lot of us are on that. Well, all of us are on that spiritual journey of self-discovery, but being able to embrace your gifts on all levels and directions is truly a blessing. So thank you for doing that. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you're comfortable enough, drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact and give how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath, they're going through trying times, need confirmation or validation towards the life path, or just needing spiritual guidance, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to... Uh, resonate for the content of the video and thank you for the support and today ooh, let me turn it up because you really can't hear it um the meditation music i'm using in the background is called higher vibration raise your frequency 963 hertz 528 hertz and 332 hertz um so figo meditation music and i'll post that link in the description box below and today my video is about Twin Flame 101, diving deep, Kayoka's diving deep to get to the root of your pain and sadness to heal on all levels. It's true, like I said, when I, as soon as I said that the light flashed across the screen, so obviously I must be on something. Um, it, it's just like, like I said in my last video, um, I have been receiving a lot of downloads a lot of different things that have occurred in my life or a lot of things that will be occurring in my life and things that i need to make peace with you know um diving deep it is just like a lot of times we can get frustrated because of the things that you know has you know occurred in our life it could have been during your adolescent time or your childhood or even you're struggling towards your adulthood you know there's a lot of things that you know has traumatized us to where it can make have us making mistakes in our future from our childhood because a lot of times it's like you know we can sit up here and judge people by certain things that has occurred in their life in which we should never do that because we never were walking in those people's shoes you know and it's just like a lot of times i've seen just from my situations from what i endured during my childhood has really truly affected me you know towards my adulthood towards the decisions certain decisions i've made you know i don't want to cast blame on uh people you know that has done things to me in my life because i made some of those decisions for me to have to go through those certain situations in the first place as well so it's just like when you're coming to terms with you know because a lot of times certain people will you know just cast blame on people I, that's one thing with my situation even though i have use my life as an example towards things that I struggle with on my daily purpose. I don't just cast blame on um, my adopted father and his wife and stuff like that. There's a lot of, like I've said before, there's a lot of situations that I, the way I decided to go about things, you know, has, you know, uh, had caused an effect in those situations as well. So it's just like I get frustrated at times when, you know, I'm going through certain things, but you know, this is all like a learning process for me. I'm healing myself, bringing acknowledgement of the things that I'm healing from to be able to help others as well reflect on the things that are, they have going on in their life so they can be able to get down to the root of the problem on things that have happened towards us, you know, been in and out of narcissistic relationships, had also friendships with you know opposite sex and same sex of uh, being toxic toxic you know with us being empaths a lot of times we will connect with people that feel damaged or feel tainted or faded jaded whatever you want to call it um for us to be able to reflect on the things that has occurred in our life as well as help others as well you know um it is just like before i can actually say i'm very grateful and i'm proud of myself because you know when i first started these you know the videos you know i felt fall on victim 
uh, when I first started going through this. And then it was just like basically, you know, being able to know what happened to me is not what I am. You know, what I feel like what happened to me molded me to the person I am today. You know, I never want to play victim towards anything that has occurred in my life. You know, even though it was very uh, traumatizing on so many levels, it allowed me to be able to pull strength in places that I never thought I would. But it's just like, you know, I had a very, it was like me releasing and talking to my dad, um, as well as the universe and, you know, my mom, uh, spirit and everything that, you know, how I felt about certain things how certain things has been projected towards me that I still can't, you know, I'm, I'm coming to terms with it, but it's been hard coming to terms with it, you know, it's just like when I can really get, you know, root to the problem of, you know, uh, my mom's ex-husband and the, the pain he's afflicted on me. Um, it was hard, you know, it was really hard because there, like I told y'all before, you know, there are some times it doesn't feel real because it's just the fact is the respect and the love that I gave to my mom's ex-husband. Um, it hurt really bad because I was always, you know, when I was very, very young, you know, he spoiled me a lot, but it was just like, the more I reflected my dad, the more he pushed himself away from me. And it was just like, my mom was telling me, you know, he doesn't care about you in that term. He cares about the benefit of you, but he doesn't care about you, you know? And it really used to, I used to get angry at my mom for telling me that, but then it was just like me going through these series of situations that has been, you know, coming up on certain things that he's placed in my life. I won't go into, you know, detail about that because you now I'm healing with it and I let it go. But it was just like a lot of things that, you know, I you know, a parent shouldn't put on a child, you know, just to push them out. But, you know, people do certain corrupted things, you know, very dark things towards people out of selfishness, out of hurt for themselves that they press it on towards somebody else. And, you know, it is just I don't want to be an example of him. You know, doing the same thing, because I, I caught myself doing that a while back. You know, basically, you know, going into detail about certain things. I can just say, as, you know, me going through those hurtful, dark times, you know, yes, it did hurt me. You know, I can come to root with that, because it's just like this morning, I cried. I really cried. And it was just like, you know, I told the universe, I really looked up to him as my dad. You know, looked it up to him as my protector. Um, but he ended up being everything... <laughs> that he was supposed to be protecting me from so it was just like that was a hard pill to swallow because it's just like you know why would this person do this to me you know um why would he do this on the selfish needs of the person he's married to so it was just like i had to really come to terms with that because i thought i healed from a lot of things but it's just you know the you know the phases of the like i was telling y'all in the last video is having me dive a lot deeper to where you know it's not anger but it's more a disappointment of my feelings being hurt you know it's like that but i'm blessed for it to be you know there's no angry to it but it's just to be able to look at him like that like you know yeah you really went through that and it was just like at times i know it happened but it's just like there's times i sit here and i think about it and tears form up you know i was just like i would never wish that on my worst enemy you know um being able to try to be a better person for my children of seeing the things that has you know reflected towards me it's been a blessing like anytime i tell people yeah it it's a hurtful situation to be able to endure the pain that you endured um especially as a child you know no matter if it's like sexual abuse verbal abuse physical abuse or just being broken down to make you feel like you're you know what is wrong with me you know a lot of people it, you know it hurts me when i see them that they have been so damaged that, you know, they, they, at times they feel like a burden to people because of the things that they express about themselves. It's okay for you to be able to express those things, you know, if it's going to be able to help you for you acknowledging it. But there's a difference between you're helping yourself heal or you, you keep on going back into remembering what happened, how you felt. You don't want to do that because it's allowing you to remember that pain and how you felt at that moment. That's why I'm not going into detail about those things that have occurred in my life. I can be able to say, you know what, God, thank you for allowing me to be able to reflect on that. Universe, thank you for allowing me to reflect on that. I need to part ways. Can you allow this to leave my mind, my body, my spirit, so it doesn't hurt me going down this path of self-discovery? Because it's like, 
those painful experiences that you went through as soon as I said that my phone lit up as <laughs> uh, soon as you know you're on your your path to self discovery and being able to heal you know every step of the way you know it's just that that one painful step and that one scary step is always the first one and the next one you know but down that path you will understand why you had to go through the things you had to go through um, allowing yourself to not allow your past experience that led you from pain or you know just the experience of keeping you in a box of not allowing people to get close um, help you heal you know and it's just like I, I'm very grateful for the situations that has happened you know not what happened but the experiences I had you know from the lessons that's being brought to me just to be able to allow me to say you know what yes this did as soon as I said and my phone lit up again I'm grateful for that you know I try to show the universe and God very you know being grateful for everything that's happened into my life you know being able to open up and be honest about it you know I try to keep it 250 percent real with y'all if I can be more than that I will be more than that um, we all go through things of time of sorrow but being able to reflect on what has occurred to bring us to where we are now to be able to say you know what I'm tired of feeling this way you know I have a right to be happy I have the right to have a peace of mind you know I want to make peace with whatever is keeping me from that and that's what you need to do I mean it might not you might not be able to get it give get over it by just tomorrow or even in five minutes but as long as you apply that towards your daily duties or whatever you have going on throughout the day it makes life a little bit better for you and every day it's like you're training your mind to be able to you know whatever is resurfacing is allowing you to say you know it's coming to the forefront for you to be able to heal you know like a lot of times y'all hear me say I am healing yes I am that's one one thing you know I well one of many of the things that I keep it real with y'all with because it's just like when I feel that I am healed there's there probably are more layers that might come up you know during these different phases of our life while we're going on to our spiritual journey our spiritual awakening because it brings everything to the forefront what is not pretty what our insecurities are about what our doubts are about what our fears are about you know where our doubt is you know all these different things are applying towards our future of our path that we need to be able to acknowledge where we need to be able to come to terms with you know because a lot of times it's just with us holding that it it, it stops us from being able to get our blessings we're cheating ourselves of having a prosperous future you know it's keeping us from whatever you are trying to work towards is keeping you from that long as you hang you know you're holding on to those things that are negative it's allowing you to hinder yourself self-sabotage you know that's what you're doing you know you, you you're cheating yourself out of a good thing for yourself no matter whatever whatever it is that you're trying to aim for or work for is cheating you from achieving that so you have to be able to come to terms with this so it's just like the universe divine is just all working hard with us over time to be able to show us yes blessings are on its way but you have to be able to give up your fears and doubts of things that has placed you where you are right now at this exact moment because spiritual awakenings is allow you to go through a series of events of hardship pain um, anything that you know has brought bad light towards you a bad energy towards you for all these different things all these special occurrences of unfortunate events that has happened into your life for you to be able to reflect and let you know these are the things you had to go through in life for you to be able to turn around and have a positive lesson or a positive outlook on why you had to go through those things you go through you know when I look at my life and see the things that has happened to me it's no pretty sight but when I can look at it in a positive aspect to say yeah these things has happened to me yeah I've been punished um, God has called me to this is my purpose to be able to go through many different situations and show strength you know vulnerability of being open you know not worrying about what people think what people say uh, about me their opinions about me is none of my business you know it's just for me to be able to project these videos out to be able to help others understand you know their their trials and tribulations to be able to know those situations that had to occur in your life to give you that strength to give you that power be able to snatch your power back from whoever tried to take it 
you know, for things that has happened in your life, for you to not to be able to put all your energy in the things that you can't change, for but to put your energy in the things that has happened to you, make it change you, but for a positive way of changing you, you know, um, it is just a blessing to me when I can be able to do that and put peace in somebody's heart. You know, for them to be able to take the information I have to be able to look at, you know, have them reflect on their life and what they deserve and what they need to part ways with. You know, anybody I go on one on one with, you know, which is very confident to me. I keep people's, you know, their weaknesses and vulnerabilities to myself. Um, but to be able to have them reflect on things, to let them know you have that strength inside of you, for you to be open and tell somebody what happened to you, you know, that really made you feel shame or, you know, feel guilt about certain things that, is, you know, has been able to apply bad memories into your life. You know, I tell them it takes a lot of strength to be able to do that, do that because you're being vulnerable towards people. And, you know, when I can be able to give that, that, you know, words of encouragement, words of reason. Yeah, we have all been through things. I don't feel like nobody's situation is worse than the next. But it's just all about how we look at our situations, how we allow it to affect us in so many different ways. Is this going to be something that is going to make me or is it going to break me down and allow me not to want to go further with my life? No, that's not what it is. You know, a lot of times we get upset and, you know, like, why is this keep coming up in my head because universe wants you to allow yourself to make peace with the things that have occurred in your life you know it, it can be messed up when you have had people do things to you and they haven't had their piece of karma karma pie as they call it but you can't be worried about that that's not where you should put your energy on that's why I try not to put my energy on um my my mom's ex-husband and their family about how they kept they were determined to keep me away from you know my father or my mom you know I have to be able to just focus on the things that you know I'm trying to work on towards myself you know I, I pray for them you know you supposed to be happy to be with people that can impact your life in a positive way but pray for the other people that has tried to bring you down in a negative way you know uh, nobody's perfect I don't think anybody is woke up and say, oh, I'm going to be a bully towards this person today. That, you know, I was watching a video today and it said that nobody was born that way. It had to be deeply rooted in pain for people to reflect a lot of those things on you. You know, you don't have the answers, the, all the answers on why people do the things they do. Um, you're just responsible for yourself, how you take things and how you respond to it and how you react to it. Those are your responsibilities. Those are your business. We, when I always try to tell people, when you are on your way of doing things, you do it because you enjoy it or you do it when you want to, not when it's my pressure you to do it. You know, universe guides you to do a lot of uncomfortable things. I've done a few, you know, and I'm still in the history of the making, whatever you want to call it. You know, there's a lot of things that scares the hell out of me, but I, you know, I try to go ahead and push through it. And if it's something I need to project out, I do that. You know, there's a lot of times I'm over here, you know, feeling vulnerable towards y'all. I hate for y'all to see me cry. It's not, that's not, I'm trying to get attention or anything like that. But, you know, universe wants me to be able to allow myself to be vulnerable. You know, y'all can see me at my good times, see me at my sad times. My, you know, my good times, because these are the things that each and every one of us goes through behind closed doors. You know, all of y'all are not sitting up here, you know, YouTubers or, you know, putting your videos out or anything like that. Because that takes a lot of, you know, courage to be able to do because you're put, you're opening your life out to people to have many opinions about the things that you have been, that has been placed in your life. A lot of people don't like the fact of who I'm related to or who they think I'm not related to. You know, a, a lot of people have positive you know, opinions about my situation. A lot of people don't, you know, I, I'm grateful for the people that, you know, wish me well. I'm grateful for it. people that know that I'm not, you know, uh, trying to get attention or, um, you know, brag about anything. There's nothing to brag about. You know, I'm proud of my dad. I'm proud of everything my dad has went through and what he represents, you know, uh, whatever negative situation people have about my dad, I tell them not to, you know, you know, reflect that to me. You know, it's just like anybody in their family, you, you're very protective over that. You know, there's a lot of times where our family is not being really seen in that good light because of certain things that has occurred. You know, I, I just, I can't answer all those questions on why things are the way they are. But I can just, 
being able to heal myself through these times of trouble, not uncertainty, uncertainty. You know, it, you know, I pray for answers every day of who did this to my dad, who was responsible for that. You know, why would they do this? You know, all those different things, but being able to, you know, push out my, my life story of what I went through by being Prince's daughter, you know, um, it's really been hard, <laughs> you know, it really has been, but being able to use that as a platform to help others heal on time of that, you know, a lot of people go through things that I've went through. It just so happens to be my dad's a public figure. So there's a lot of things that my dad didn't project out. You know, he never talked about my brother that passed away because that was too painful for him. He'd rather for that to be something he can grieve in silence. Other people wanted to project that out to the public eye. I can't have my opinions about that situation because I wasn't there. But for me, it lost. I lost a brother. You know, a lot. Some people ask me, "Did you read?" You know, uh, my taste book. No, I didn't. I, there was just certain things I care not to know. Um, I've seen a lot of things that's been, you know, um, put out of what things that my brother has went through. And that broke my heart in many ways because that's a, a brother I never got a chance to meet, even though, you know, I've had visions of my brother. He was a very beautiful sight to me. But where they allowed him to be projected to me, he was very beautiful. Regardless of what my brother defect had, he was a very beautiful soul. Um, but a lot of things like that is it's a lot harder. You know, when, when your life is in in the eye of, under a magnifying glass for other people to cast judgment on. But, you know, it's just all about how I felt about my dad was important. You know, there's a lot of people that can say things about my dad that was not good. And there are some of them that can say there was good things. But regardless on that, you know, that's the reason why it was kind of hard for me to be able to understand before I knew the whole truth how my dad is, who my dad was, because when he showed that towards me it was totally different from what allowed he allowed people to see you know it's like with him and our connection he all the walls came down but when he talked to others especially on you know camera he only allowed you to be able to come in a certain amount you know close to him he didn't he wasn't very good on wanting to have interviews he didn't really care for those but a lot of things you have to reflect on is you know the pain that you endure throughout your life, you know, being able to reflect on that and look at it is in a positive way and a learning process that those painful situations can bring out beautiful outcomes as well as beautiful blessings towards your life. It's just all about how you go about it and how you tend to look at it. You know, it took me a long time to be able to look at it in a positive way. I thought I was being punished. You know, especially, you know, I was like, why would I find out all this truth after my dad died? Why did I have to find out about this? You know, why can I have connections with my mom? You know, there are certain things that happen in our lives who sometimes we just don't get the answers to. But all I know that is just like, it, it just brought out, you know, a lot of positive things that allowed me to have strength in places I never thought I would have. You know, because after I found out who my dad was, and you know, it's the worst feeling you can actually have of knowing that you you knew a parent especially being adopted anybody who's adopted you know knows that feeling of always wanting to know where you came from who your family is you know you, you know there's some people that are being able to be blessed to be uh in a good family after being adopted but they still want to always know where they came from and you know i'm just like anybody else but it's just a blessing um for me after I found out the truth I can be able to see all the good things that my dad has done that he's done for others the charities and stuff he got involved in you know it was like he was kind of like a activist for a lot of positive things that happened in a negative you know negative way and I'm proud of my dad on all those different things because he achieved a lot, a lot since a short period here on earth but you know, it is just to be able to be honored, to be able to still do those things for him, just to live that on. You know, even though I'm not exactly going his way, I'm going my own. You know, I never want to live in anybody's shadow. I want to be able to be my own person. But, you know, being able to see these things for what they truly are has truly been a blessing for me. But, you know, I don't carry this video on for a lot, so I hope you are able to, um, basically resonate with this video or whatever but you know that God has me God in the universe got me all up on a mission today so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I can 
do the best I can with it. So I hope you are able to resonate with uh, uh, the video. You know, let me know if you do. Uh, like and subscribe. Share. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and on there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'm gonna give a post notification shout out to Gabriel. Much love to you as well as Miguel. Much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Much love. Peace.